Hello guys, today we'll have another code review with the goal to make the code better. And it's not that much junior code, it's written quite well, but the structure of the routes may be better and more readable and more consistent with naming. So for example, if you have users controller, it's not really clear what's it for. Is it for managing users by admin or is it a profile management like in this case for user? Similar here, dashboard. Dashboard for which role, user or admin? So in this lesson, I want to emphasize how important is the naming and the structure, especially working with a team where someone else can take over your code in the future, or maybe it will be yourself in a year, and you need to understand the structure and the naming in the code as quickly as possible. So let's refactor this code for consistency and readability. An important notice, while doing restructuring with routes, you better write automated tests before you do that. So you would have automated tests running and showing that there is no error with routes. And then the goal is to make those tests pass again after refactoring. Because especially in the big projects, it's very hard to test it all manually. In this case, this code doesn't have tests, unfortunately, and we don't have time to write that. If you want to learn how to write automated tests, I have a special course on my Teachable about writing PHP unit tests, specifically for Laravel for beginners. Quickly about the project, it's a small project to manage books, so every user has a dashboard where they can add a book, and then admin user can approve or edit that, and then there's a profile to manage your account and password. Quite small, but already a dozen of routes and route resources, and it already has problems with reading the code, so imagine what happens when you have hundreds of routes for bigger projects. So naming and structure is really important. Let's close down the sidebar. And first thing I see while browsing that is repeating middleware. So middleware role user here, role user here in this group, except for that one. So role admin is separate. So I would regroup that those three thing into a separate group with one middleware. Or in fact, everything that is needed is go here, cut, paste, because it's the same group, it's middleware role user. And then there's no need for middleware in those groups. So it's a group within a group. Let's try if it all still works. Dashboard, profile, seems okay. So now it's easier to read the sections. So public routes, then role user routes, and then role admin routes. Next thing I see is inconsistency in Laravel 8 routing. Laravel 8 changed the structure of routing. So now every route has a controller and the method. And in some cases, full path is used. In other cases, only short path with use on top like this. So you should be consistent and I think those three should go up top. For that, let's try to use a PHP storm function code cleanup for only that file. Okay. And as you can see, those were moved to the top. Cool. Next thing, you may call me perfectionist, but I don't like lower cases here, dashboard and admin. The code works well, but it's quite a well-known standard that folders and namespaces in Laravel and in PHP should be camel case with first letter uppercase. So let's open it up. And there are a few things you need to rename. So the folders, dashboard and admin, and then namespaces inside of it. So let's try to rename in all project. I'm not sure if it will succeed or fail. Let's try to have replace and files, replace this with dashboard uppercase, replace all, six occurrences, great, replaced here, replaced in the files, in the controllers, yep, and then we need to rename the folder, refactor, rename, and I already see that PHP Storm will try to rename more stuff and refactor, so easier way is to go to folder and rename it manually here without PHP Storm. So we have the dashboard in uppercase, let's try to refresh the page and see if it didn't break anything. So dashboard works, profile works, good. Same thing we do for admin. Okay, looks better to me. Next, I want to talk about the dashboard and the books controller, how it works. So someone clicks on the dashboard and all the dashboard does is shows the list of books and has a link to add a new book. So I would argue that this group of two controllers should actually be one controller books because all the dashboard controller does is first let's get rid of that construct middleware because it's already in routes and then we don't need these uses. Okay. 
and that dashboard index blade shows that dashboard shows the link to create a book and then shows the books with data table with ajax data table so in my opinion it's a books list it's not a dashboard an interesting part that dashboard index blade calls the route of books index to power the ajax request to get the list for that table let's see what's inside of books index so in the routes we have books controller route resource and that index checks if that's an ajax request then we get the data for the data tables otherwise we view the dashboard which is the same so dashboard index here and dashboard controller dashboard index here as well so it's kind of duplicating the logic i think my theory is that if we remove that and if we change the route here on the top right from dashboard to books it should still work so we open up layouts app blade where that link should be here in navbar okay let's open navbar and let's see what we have here dashboard index let's change that to dashboard books index and let's even change that to books or my books actually and if we go to dashboard books it shows the same thing and click my books it's actually my books so we totally got rid of dashboard controller in routes web and let's even remove that dashboard controller as a file here we refresh and it all still works my books add book all good next thing i don't really like as i mentioned before it's settings prefix and users controller that is not a users controller that is settings controller or profile controller and the naming depends on what happens with that page later so for now it's a profile controller but maybe in the future they will have more settings like notification settings or something so we should rename that to settings controller and php storm should help us with that if we refactor rename to settings controller it should search everywhere refactor okay and we have settings controller here it should be on top here actually let's remove this one we don't need that anymore settings controller inside we have settings controller and actually inside here we don't need that middleware anymore and let's refresh that page so profile and probably i would rename that profile to settings because it should be consistent if the url is settings and if the title is settings why does it say profile here so in navbar blade let's rename that to settings like this and it has settings now good and finally i want to restructure those three groups into some kind of consistent user area with prefix user with namespace user and stuff like that currently it's a bit of a mess because dashboard contains books controller and settings controller although it's not a dashboard at all then we have those three controllers which don't belong anywhere although it's part of user area and a good example of this is admin folder there is an admin folder with admin controllers so why don't we create a user folder with users controllers so controllers new directory user it will be user area then let's move ratings controller for example to that user folder refactor and if we go inside user ratings controller we should rename the namespace user and same thing with others reports controller and reviews controller so they are all under user and we add namespace here user and reviews namespace here on top and also in the routes in the routes web on top we have to add user here okay nothing is underlined now and it should work next settings let's move that to user as well refactor and let's see if it actually maybe renamed the namespace no maybe some kind of php storm setting exists to do that but we rename that to user and also let's rename the user up front and let's move the books into user here and if we open that up on top we should have a user and then we remove the folder dashboard as empty folder in routes it should all still work let's try it out actually let's open up my books add book all works settings all works and finally i want to remove that dashboard prefix and dashboard name group because it's not a dashboard 
it should be just route resource books and we need to rename all the occurrences of that dashboard books in the routes or URLs. So let's search all project for dashboard and it's quite a lot of occurrences. So this one is a bit risky. So in this video, probably I won't perform that. It would take too long, but you get the idea. Probably it's not a dashboard, so it should be named as books resource, not the dashboard. So let's roll back for now. So that's all for now. This is the work I've done to make it more readable. So we have group of user area user controllers in user folder with user namespace. Then all the controllers and all the areas are named as they should be, except for this dashboard. And I think this code would be more readable for colleagues of that developer in the future. What do you think? Do you agree with all of my changes? And do you think it's worth the time to refactor like this? Or are you okay with a bit of a mess in naming and the structure in favor of speed of development and just move on with building the features? Let's discuss in the comments and I will have more code reviews in the future on this channel. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of new videos. And if you want to support the channel financially, there are three products on the screen, three products from my team. It's my own courses, it's Laravel Admin Panel Generator, QuickAdmin Panel.com, and my LiveWireKit Components Kit. See you guys in other videos.